Man, I'm getting real sick and tired of this fog. Uh, I mean, uh, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. <laughs> I was kind of jumping, just jumping right into the topic today right now. Uh, this isn't my usual start. I am going to the gym later, but I just had to talk about this for a second because this fog is ruining my sleep. And I mean, it's not the only thing ruining my sleep. The other thing ruining my sleep is the lack of cardio I've been doing for a reason I will explain shortly. But yeah, let me just lay this out. This week, it has been foggy every single morning. And I listen to Andrew Huberman, you know, I believe him. He seems like a credible guy. He says to get early morning sunlight first thing in the morning. And that's like the number one thing you could do for your sleep and your like hormone system and everything. And I try to do that, you know, as soon as the sun peeks up through the horizon, I'm on the porch sipping my coffee, getting that shit into my corneas. But today it's, it, I, I mean, not today, like every day. It's been, it's been like this, super foggy. So you know what I did today? I drove to the next town over. Like <laughs> the shit is 30 minutes away. This is not where I live. And it's still foggy here. Like I'm, I'm way more inland because you know, usually I, usually, I mean, I live by the ocean. So I'm used to the fog, but hold on, someone's pulling up right next to me. Uh, sorry, someone pulled up next to me and I got embarrassed. So I just came into my car, sat in the passenger seat for some reason. Anyways, I'm not, I haven't been getting early morning sunlight at all and i came here to get some and it's not here so i was just walking around outside trying to get all the light i could into my eyeballs because <laughs> i'm tired of sitting up at night like this just freaking staring into the darkness not knowing why i'm not tired but i know why i'm not tired because there's another reason is that i've been skipping cardio not on purpose i'm a big cardio guy i always do cardio i haven't stopped doing cardio in like three years without cardio you just don't sleep as well and that's something I always knew, but I forget. I like, I only remember when I stopped doing cardio and I'm like, what's wrong with me? That's what's wrong with you. Do your freaking cardio. All of you, all of you watching this. <laughs> you get better sleep. You're just, you're better person overall. I'm just, I'm grumpy, man. My last video is, this is like hard to follow my, like I'm still a little sleep deprived right now because it happened again last night. I was just sitting up like I can't sleep. I think I'm on, I'm like eight or nine hours of sleep total combined for the past two days, which should be one night's sleep, not two. So that's a real problem. I'm sorry if I'm rambling. My brain's not right right now. <laughs> I'm gonna work out anyway. Um, yeah, I'm gonna change that today. I'm gonna make sure I do my cardio. I'm gonna get the best workout I can in and just make sure I sleep tonight. You know what would be ironic is if I do all this to fix my cardio and, and Spider-Man 2 just came out today and I, I bought a PlayStation 5. I'm so excited. Imagine if I just stay up till 2 a.m. and just ruin my sleep schedule tonight after doing all this and complaining about it. Uh, wouldn't that be ironic? All right, starting on the elliptical today. This isn't normal. It's leg and shoulder day. And I think I'm gonna do 100 hip thrusts. And that might, don't, that might be my only leg exercise today because uh, my girlfriend said I had a flat booty. So we're gonna take care of that. And second body part shoulders we've already trained a good amount this week so i'll do like one two if i have time and it's gonna be a pretty chill friday workout for me uh my main priority right now is just getting this cardio done i think i'm gonna do 45 minutes just so i sleep like a rock because i really need to make sure i can i'm 100 percent by monday so today's friday i want to sleep good tonight sleep good saturday night sleep good sunday night and I should be fully healed by Monday and not sleep deprived. So just 45 minutes of cardio right off the bat and then uh, burn out my butt, doing hip thrusts, burn out my shoulders for the weekend. And then we're gonna play Spider-Man for two days straight. If you wanna know how many calories you're burning or if you're improving in cardio, go to the mats right here. Every machine should have mats. Okay, let me zoom in. There we go, there's a glare. So it'll start right there, so you can like measure your heart rate. But go to METS, and uh, this is your progressive overload number. So right now I'm doing 6.8. I'm trying to get to the point where my entire cardio section uh, is at a seven or eight. Um, really, really intense for me it would be like a nine or a 10. So this steady state, I've been going for 45 minutes. I know this says 10, but I had to restart. It only goes up to 30. Uh, there you go. I'm just going to fast forward through this entire part and I'll, I'll explain why in a second. It was it was truly tragic, but I don't know. I thought this camera angle was kind of neat, so I wanted to still show the footage. Um, I am so disappointed right now 
my microphone my microphone was muted for three sets <laughs> so I guess I guess I'll just show this last one here I was saying I'm doing four sets of 15 of uh, hip thrusts just to get my uh, <laughs> my gluteus maximus muscles uh, developed again I used to do 225 with a regular bar this is a Smith machine and I'm only doing 115 pounds so that's super su disappointing like I don't even know you can lose that much muscle but the golden rule is you get it back two times faster than you got it in the first place because there's these things called like myelin cells or something that they stay in your muscles and they essentially help it grow to where it was when it was strong and you know they remember they remember the size it's in there so hopefully i'll be back at 225 soon but the goal of today is just to do 115 i'm sure that'll be more than enough to get me sore and i thought like uh stair stepper and cardio and deadlifts would be enough to keep uh <laughs> to keep my butt like strong, but I guess not. It's not enough to maintain. Now you know. And that's why my girlfriend said I had a flat booty. <sighs> All right, that should be good enough. I am gonna go see what's next. I don't know what's next, but let's go find out. All right kettlebell swings so I can get the butt stuff done and move on with my life. Am I in your way? Cool. Do three. I used to not even be able to do 20 of these. It was crazy. 34, 35. But why were the hip thrusts so hard? I don't get it. 36, 37. Okay, so I just finished doing 100 kettlebell swings. My my phone, I, I've been recording too many videos. It ran out of storage in the middle of that. I was talking throughout the whole thing, but I only got the beginning. <laughs> so many tech issues, man. I think I just need to get a camera or something. Uh, but yeah, I need to do lateral raises and I need to do abs. And I think I'm gonna do them in that order. So let's go do lateral raises. And my, I feel my booty popping. It's like, it's got that numb bubble feeling. So I guess that's good. <laughs> well. I just realized I could do everything right here, so I will. But they have a, they have a little dumbbell section here in the yellow room, which I would prefer to work out in because I can record and talk to you guys and there's less people. And my girlfriend is right here doing, uh, doing external rotations. <sighs> oh, my shoulders are so weak, dude. Ah, oh, they got that beef jerky feeling. Uh, uh, Nine, ten. I mean, if you think about it, I only have to do that ten more times. I'm all for it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, thirty. Yeah, it's a little harder today. It's it's Friday, so I've I've worked out my shoulders three times already. What's up? I'm trying to kick out my knees. <laughs> my legs aren't that weak. My girlfriend's on the floor doing an external rotation. She's trying to she's trying to trip me. Sneak attack in. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Ah, uh, wait a minute, is the sound on right now? Check, check, okay good, I'm scared. I'm having too many technical difficulties today. 38, 39, 40. Ah. 1, 42. Ah, uh, 45. Mm. Seven. Uh, 48. 49. Mm. 
Ah, 50, we're halfway through. And that cardio felt good. Felt like I needed it. It's like when you wake up in the middle of the night all thirsty and you just chug a bunch of water. That's what that cardio felt like. <gasps> Give me that hat. I wanna wear it in the video, let me see it. Give me that hat. Give me that hat. I wanna show it off. Here, take mine. Maybe I should just take it and there's nothing you could do about it. Let's see if it fits me. Uh, it's a little small. This is big on you? Dang. I got a fat head. <laughs> this is big on her. <laughs> I'll just say 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Ah. 72, 73. Ah. <sighs> All right, you can have your hat back. It's too small for me. 95, 96, <sighs> Okay, so I was gonna do leg raises in the machine in the other room that's meant for these, but it was being used right now. So I guess I'll do it the hard way. The reason this is harder is because I have to like grip with my arms. The other one, you just kind of hang up on your elbows like this. So you could just focus on your abs. And I feel like it gets my abs better, but this works too if there's, if there's no other way to do it. Just I, uh, I reach failure quicker because my forearms and hands tire out. Also, it swings me around like crazy and I have to focus on not swinging too much. So there's that component as well. One. See? Two. Don't swing. Three. Or time it right. Three. Five. Six. Can't do that many. Seven. Eight. So right now I kind of just feel like my uh, shoulder muscle, and my front delt tiring out before my, my abs really get turned on. So I got to do a few more reps then, than I would like. Uh, 16. <sighs> Try to get to 30. That should be good. 19. 20. Ah, come on, one more. 21. Uh, okay, nine to go. Yeah, I just feel this, uh, all like right here, like when I'm hanging. So that's kind of unfortunate, but yeah, I just didn't want to wait for the other machine. And like I'm cool with doing this on other days when my my muscles aren't tired out. Like it's honestly fine, but yeah, I kind of <laughs> I I needed a break today for sure. It's because it's the end of the week. It's uh it's the day where I most feel like my muscles are I don't know tender or just done done working they're burnt all right nine to go i'll do 10 why not two three four oh man <laughs> i thought i was gonna fall mid rep that was a close one. I would have just fallen on my butt. Not that there's much to fall on. Okay. Okay. I think I got my abs. 
do a physique check. Friday's over, week's over. Pretty good week of videos for me. I think I improved a lot. Hopefully I'm not too close to the camera. Uh, let's do a physique check and I'm excited to go home and play some video games all weekend. Well, if I didn't get my thumbnail back there, hopefully I get it right here. <laughs> I cut this shirt so loose that I could literally just put my arm through to take it off. That's hilarious. Yeah, I didn't mean for it to be that small. I didn't mean for it to be this revealing, I mean. It was an accident. <sighs> All right, how do I look? The mirror's not in front of me, I can't really see. I'm trying to work on my posing. I haven't really watched any videos, but I'm just going by like how these look when I watch them back. Hopefully this looks pretty cool. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I don't know, I'll learn one day. Do like one of these. All right, this is it right now. 180 pounds or so. I think, it, I think 20 more pounds to 200 would be excessive. Uh, at this point <laughs> So I'm gonna cool it down a bit, you know, I plan to bulk for a couple of years So I got a lot of time if I ever hit 200 I think I would look ridiculous if, as long as it's all muscle, but I think uh, Yeah, it's gonna be around this body fat from here on out. Hopefully. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go all out like bear mode We'll see. I don't really mind either way as long as I hit a 315 bench press To be honest, I think <laughs> that's gonna be an insane goal uh, and I'll be happy if I hit it. So until next time, catch you guys later.